This video shows a quick proof for this interesting property of the first consecutive integers in the sense that 1 to the power 4 plus 2 to the power 4 up to n to the power 4 is equal to the sum of a squared integers 1 squared 2 squared up to n squared times 3n squared plus 3n minus 1 divided by 5. So this is very interesting. Um, how is this possible? All right, uh, to prove this quickly, I need to refer to earlier uh, interesting properties that were that I proved them in, an er in earlier videos. For example, the sum of integers uh, cube, so 1 cube plus 2 cube up to n cube is equal to the sum of integers to the power 2. As I, I proved this in an earlier video, I'm going to use it as in my quick proof here. And uh, the sum of integers squared in terms of 1 squared up to n squared equal to n times n plus 1, 2 n plus 1 divided by 6. And finally, the sum of integers, of course, well known, n times n plus 1 divided by 2. So I am going to use this in the quick proof. Um, so I'll, I'll refer to them. Uh, but if you're interested, you can find them in uh, earlier videos posted under the computer science uh, pl playlist. So let's start from uh, the binomial expansion to the power 5. So we know that a plus 1, a is an integer, let's say, to the power 5 is equal to a to the power 5 plus 5a to the power 4 plus 10a to the power 3 plus 10a to the power 2 plus 5a plus 1. This is well known, binomial expansion of power 5. Now, let's substitute. So a is an integer. I'm going to just substitute a with n. And as a result, I can say n plus 1 to the power 5 is equal to just what I wrote there. So is equal to n to the power 5 plus 5n to the power 4 plus 10n to the power 3 plus 10n to the power 2 plus 5n plus 1. Okay, let's now play this game that n to the power 5 can be written as obviously n minus 1 plus 1 to the power 5. So I can use the binomial expansion again because in this case now my a is n minus 1. So n minus 1 to the power 5 plus 5 n minus 1 to the power 4 plus 10 n minus 1 to the power 3 and 10 n minus 1 to the power 2 plus 5 n minus 1 plus 1. Great. Let me do it one more time and then we would move on quickly. The proof is vast. So Next one, of course, I can do n minus 2 plus 1 to the power 5, and uh, that would be n minus 2 to the power 5 plus 5, n minus 2 to the power 4, and uh, 10, of course, n minus 2 to the power 3, and uh, 10, n minus 2 to the power 3 plus 5, n minus 2 plus 1. Okay, so let's do ellipsis. This will continue. Uh, and of course, I'll get to uh, 2 plus 1 to the power 5. And finally, I get to 1 plus 1 to the power 5. And uh, that's that's the end of it. So for this one, I can write 2 to the power 5 plus 5 times 2 to the power 4 plus 10 times 2 to the power 3 and 10 times 2 to the power 2. So this one is 2. And then uh, 5 times 2 to the power 2. And then we have 1. And finally, for the last one, of course, is just 1, 5, 5, 1, and 10, 1, and 10, 1, and finally, 5, 1, plus 1. Okay, so, so what? Why are we bothering ourselves with this? Okay, the reason for that is things that start canceling out. If we start adding these things together, so uh, add all these components, so we have a bunch of equalities that we have written. So we are saying for all of these guys, the left-hand side equal to right-hand side. Let's add them together. So if you add them together, everything that you can see, all the left-hand side and all the right-hand side, you can see that after adding together, n5 is canceling out with this side. n minus 1 to the power 5 is canceling out with this side. And so on and so forth. Even this one cancel out with 3 to the power 5 that shows up here, and 2 to the 5 cancels out with this one. So what I'm trying to say is the first 
um, when you add these things up so uh, on the left in the left side of this uh, resulting equality the only thing that remains is just it is just this component so m plus 1 to the power 5 and among this set here the only thing that remains is just 1 to the power 5 so let's write 1 now the next one here you can see that we have 5 times 1 to the power 5 plus so we have 5 times exactly this thing so let's name it as x because that's the thing I want to find so I have 5 times x which I want to find okay what is next I have 10 times see uh, the next one is as you can see 10 times the sum of integers from 1 to n to the power 3 the cube so let's refer to that one as uh, 10 times so that I'll, I'll refer to it later 10 times a cube and uh, after that I have 10 times the square so 10 times the sum of the squares of the first consecutive in an integer so 10 square and finally I have um, 5 just 1 plus 2 plus up to n so for that one um, it's easy to just say that for that one I'm going to refer to this outcome I'm going to substitute that with n times n plus 1 divided by 2 quickly so 5 and let me change the color so so that you can see that easy okay so I'm going to substitute 5 times n times n plus 1 n times n plus 1 divide by 2 and then finally I have five, n times 1 because I'm adding 1 n times together so n okay keep in mind that the target is finding x and this q here is the sum of the um, sum of the let's say power uh, 3 so that's uh, let's see c cube so power 3 sum of the power 3 and this one is sum of a squared okay so I'm gonna substitute for this for um, for cube I am going to use this so I'm going to refer to cube um, this one and uh, this is effectively so for this one I am going to say is 10 times in n plus 1 divide by 2 and to the power 2 of course because it's power 2 and uh, for um, s because I am going to play a trick because I am targeting s which is the sum of a squared so I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna no I'm not going to substitute anything for that and then for the next one let's keep the 5n times n plus 1 divide by 2 and plus n um, of course 5x I want to find it and let's let me move this one to the other side meaning that right beside this n so that one I shift it right to put it right beside this n so that I have n plus 1 okay so equal to n plus 1 to the power 5 very nice because now I have a simple equation that everything is only function of n and I need to find x I can also define s if I want um, as in the form of in the form of n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 divided by 6 let's keep that in mind but I'm intentionally not substituting s for this so remember uh, this number is what I did for cube this is s okay so what are we dealing with well if you further simplify this 
you end up with n plus 1 to the power 5 equal to keep the 5x because at the end of the day we have a 5 showing up. So that 5 is something that should end up uh, ne being needed at the very end. So I'm going to combine these two, these three things. And if I do so, the interesting thing is uh, I'm going to get uh, 5 over 2. Uh, let's f first combine these two quickly, these guys that there is 5 uh, over 2 and then n times n plus 1 common. So I get n times n plus 1 and then inside parentheses I get n, n times n plus 1, so n squared plus n, and then I get uh, plus 1. So that is what is the result of combining them and then we have n plus 1 showing up. So if now I move these guys to this side and I properly factor out, you end up seeing that uh, we get this result. We get n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 divided by 6 times 3n squared plus 3n minus, and there is 10s that I should not forget by the way, this 10s here that keeps repeating itself. So I was about to say plus 9. Um, so that is the result of, let me put it this way, if I, if I combine, if I simplify the highlighted ones in green by moving this portion to this side, this is what I'm going to get. So now I just need to move that 10s so I need to move this 10s to the left-hand side of equality. So minus 10s. And of course, I am saying the whole thing is equal to 5x. And x is the one that I need to find. Okay, so recall from what I just showed you below that s is n times n plus 1 divided by times 2n plus 1 divided by 6 or equivalently equal to the sum of uh, integer squared. So you can see that very interestingly that this n times n plus 1 divided by 6 is showing up as the factor, factor of this 3n squared plus 3n plus 9. So I'm going to refer to that as s. Therefore, what I found, what I found is I found that um, 5x, let me go back to the original color so that there is not too many colors here. So I found that 5x is equal to, so 5x is this one, is equal to uh, s factor out. So I factor out the red one. So if you want to write it in red, that's fine. So S factored out as here. And what remains inside the bracket is just 3N plus 3, 3N squared plus 3N plus 9. And of course here, you also factor out S. So what remains is negative 10. Very nice. So therefore, I get X, which is the target for me the sum of the integers to the power 4 is equal to s times, and of course divide by 5 as well, so 3n squared plus 3n, and then 9 minus 10 is negative 1, divide by 5. That's exactly what I wanted to find. So this is, if you can, if you take a look, let me make sure that we are seeing it. If you, if you look at what we were chasing, there you go. We were trying to prove that the s, uh, the x here, so we, we were trying to prove that the x, so let me make sure that I use the same uh, color as was before. The x is equal to s times this, which we, exactly what we just showed. There you go. The x is s times 3n squared plus 3n minus 1 divided by 5. So we are done, but one interesting observation is you can, you can write this in another way as well. So 1 squared plus 2 squared plus uh, up to n squared 
and then the nice thing is I can write this portion as uh, 6 over 5 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 ellipses n and then minus 1 over 5. So interesting thing is uh, if I highlight it, I, um, so if I highlight it so that it's observable in a better fashion, maybe I highlight these with a uh, different color. So let's say with uh, black color. And maybe I highlight these guys with another color. So let's say with uh, a blue color. So all I'm trying to say is the sum of the consecutive integers each to the power 4 is equal to uh, the sum of integers uh, to the the sum of, uh, let's say, uh, integers to the power 2, and then uh, times five over, 6 over 5, the sum of integers minus 1 over 5. So that's, that's the same thing as, because this whole thing, is equal to what is written here as uh, as a consequence of what we know so I'm gonna write this so that it's clear it's n square plus n divided by 2 so I use that uh, I use that to substitute for um, to sort of modify this in this format as you can see here all right I hope that this interesting um, problem this interesting proof is helpful and it, uh, it is serving as a sort of a quick way to prove this interesting uh, properties of the first n integers uh, in, continua in continuation of what I proved uh, earlier for the sum of the um, inter uh, let's say numbers to the power 3 and the sum of the uh, first n integers to the power 2 uh, as uh, was discussed in earlier videos. Alright, so I hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching.